So NPME is here today at Register Cliff State Historic Site in Wyoming. It's this big cliff here in front of me where immigrants on the Oregon Trail back in the 1840s, 1860s made inscriptions on the rock with their names, the dates, Some of the earliest inscriptions come from the 1820s, however. Trappers, fur traders. Let's go check it out. There's actually three grave sites from Oregon Trail travelers located at this site behind this fence. Register Cliff is a limestone cliff face along the Platte River that many immigrants along the Oregon Trail mostly in the 1840s to 1860s would sign their names in the cliff, the dates. There's been a good deal of vandalism at times though other people later on more recent eras sign of their names in these cliffs. Actually, the rancher blasted and dug this tunnel out of this cliff, used it to store goods like potatoes and other produce, keep them cool during the summer months. This tunnel was not here during the Oregon Trail days. Small little pullout. So the immigrants on the Oregon Trail were obviously following the Platte River, which is right down in those trees there. And this is usually their spot, their first night away from Fort Laramie, which is about 15 miles down the river east as they're making their way westward across the country. This is where their first campsite would be after that fort. They would just gotten restocked on some provisions. Getting ready to make their long hard journey to the west through the Rocky Mountains. You can see that there's some chain link fence up to try to keep people from going back there and defacing some of the old inscriptions. Hoover from 1866. Some of the inscriptions that kind of had the older style of writing that you can see there, like that B.W. Hauser, you can kind of 
tell the difference. The deeper inscriptions are usually older, with the older style of writing kind of helps you pinpoint which ones might be older writing actually from the Oregon Trail era. from this overhang here. Cliff swallows obviously nest here quite a bit. Unfortunately there is a lot of writing and inscriptions that have taken place well after the Oregon Trail days. And then some of the older inscriptions in some areas are starting to get covered up a little bit by some lichen and moss. And of course, back when the wagon trains were coming through this area, the river would be a lot higher than it is nowadays, and they weren't coming through in the middle of winter, like we are on our visit here. Register Cliff State Historic Site has an easy short trail along the cliff. We're talking less than a quarter mile of walking here. Three grave sites, the old rancher tunnel, a little bit of historical.